Hi everyone, my name is Kat Nidig and I am the Adult Services Librarian here at the Murraysville Community Library and today I am going to show you how to make terracotta turkeys. Each bag is going to contain one mini terracotta pot one fall leaf of various colors, one strip of paint, one paintbrush, a rubber band, and an instruction sheet so you can follow along. So the first step, we are going to unwrap our pot. You can take the sticker off the bottom. So now we have our pot. And our first step, we are going to kind of punch out this leaf. It has some extra paper around the sides. And we want to save the larger piece because we're going to use that to mix our paints on. So you want to save this. We'll be using that later. So now you should be left with a leaf. Now, you can do this several different ways. My leaf has a pretty large stem, so I'm just gonna go ahead and tear that off so you're left with this shape. And what we're going to be doing is gluing the leaf onto the back of the flower pot so that it looks like a little tail. And to do that, if you have glue, you will put a small dollop on the rim of your pot right here and then you will stick the leaf to it. Now, if you don't have glue or don't feel like finding any, that's why the rubber band is here. So, you can take your leaf And I'm just folding up the, the lower part of the leaf. These are a little large, but that's okay. That just means there's more to work with. So we're gonna do it like that. And I just kind of turned my leaves out a little bit. Um, you can position it however you would like. So now we're gonna have a little turkey tail on the back of ours. Now, if you don't like the color of your leaf, that is no problem. You can use your paints to mix a color that you do like, and you can go ahead and paint your leaf a different color. But I like mine, it's a nice red color, so we're gonna stick with that. But we are gonna open the paints. And we have a good selection here, so we are going to take our little piece of scrap paper that we had left over, and we're going to set that there. And then to make the turkey face, we are first going to open the black. And the white. And the red and the orange. And I don't think we're going to be using any other colors, so we don't need those. Okay, now once those are open, you're going to take your little terracotta pot. And the first step is you're going to, with black paint, you're going to take some paint and you're going to draw two tiny little circles. And those are going to be the eyes. Just like that, two little circles. Step one, done. And then, using the same black, you're going to go above each circle and you're going to make a, the tiniest little arch for eyebrows. Now your turkey has eyebrows. 
Next, you are going to make two tiny V's on the outside of the circles for eyelashes. It's gonna be a cute little turkey, like so. Okay, and then what you're going to do is if you have a container of water, you can go ahead and rinse your brush. I do not have any water, so I'm just going to wipe off most of that black color. And I did just use some extra paper just to kind of get most of that off. Our next step is we're going to go into the orange and we are going to paint a triangle right between the two eyes and sort of a little lower. And that is going to be our turkey beak. So you can do that with a little line there and a little line there. And a little on there, and then fill it in. And it's okay if it's a little messy because apparently I am not good at making triangles. So it's okay if you mess up. I'm going to add a little more paint. It's okay if it's not perfect. Like Bob Ross always says, it's just a happy accident. So there we go, that looks okay. So that's gonna be its little beak. And then you're going to, again, clean your brush. I'm just gonna wipe some of that off. And we're going to go into the red paint now. And we are going to add a little waddle to our turkey. And to do that, we're going to do a little teardrop shape. And let's see if this is going to work. There we go, teardrop shape on the side for your little turkey wattle. Okay, I think it's looking pretty cute so far. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going to mix some red and some white paint and we are going to make pink. to be a little lighter, so I'm gonna add a little more white. I think that is a good color. A nice pink shade. And then you're going to take some of that pink we just made, and we are going to go underneath the eyes, right about here. And we are going to add two little cheeks of blush. So it should look something like that. Oh, and my tail just came undone, no worries. There we go. Okay. And 
hands. Again, if you have water, you're gonna clean your brush. I am going to get off my paint with the extra paper. You wanna try to get it as clean as possible. And then, lastly, we are going to go back into our white and take just the tiniest bit. If you have a smaller tip to your brush, you will want to use that. So I'm going to use the left-hand side of my brush there. And then, carefully, so that the paint doesn't smudge together, you're going to go in and you're going to put a little dot of white in each eye and that will be the glint. And there you have a cute little turkey. Your face might look a little different than mine. It might be a little cuter, but every turkey will be special. And then, once your turkey face is done, you can fill it with candy corn, M&Ms, little trinkets. You can give it as a gift, use it as decor in your house for Thanksgiving, and any other ideas you have. And then the cool thing about this is it's a planter. So you can actually, when you're finished with Thanksgiving, you can actually use this to plant little seed starts for the spring. So there we have it. There is our terracotta turkey craft for November. Thank you for watching and we will see you next month. Thanks.